Living in a city doesn't mean that you're tied to supermarket shopping. The melting pot of cultures leaves you spoilt for choice at the fabulous markets. Church Street Market is at the centre of London's thriving Middle Eastern community, and I've come here to find one of Britain's most maligned summer vegetables. I'm totally, totally in love with broad beans. They're my favourite summer vegetable. Broad beans don't have the best of reputations in this country, but I'm out to prove that they're more than just a wrinkly grey side dish at a Sunday roast. We Brits might not love them, but the Egyptians certainly do. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're the Egyptian representative for broad bean loving. Yes, I am. Great. Hebe do a good job. Heba lives up the road from me, and like most Egyptians, cooks and eats broad beans on a daily basis. Can we have a lot of beans, please? Yeah. You have to choose or I Are you happy with these ones? Yeah, I am. What do you call broad beans in Arabic? And um, we call it full harati. Full harati. Full harati. Full harati. Yeah. In Egypt, the broad bean is a staple part of the diet, eaten by rich and poor alike. What do you think the English problem with broad beans is? Um, maybe people don't know what to do with them, and maybe they're a bit time-consuming because they have to, you know, um, unplug the, them. That's it's the, the nice fun meditative part. Yeah, that's the, the fun of them. Yeah, we're good. You can those in your nice yeah, store bag. Yeah, I'm going to put in my man bag. It's a very nice man bag. Thanks a lot. Great. Heber and I are hosting a picnic later on, and we're going to make two different dishes with our broad bean bounty. And as it's her kitchen, it's ladies first. OK, Val, we're going to need a lot of uh, broad beans over here, so let's get pudding. Is it that much? Yeah. Do Egyptian women run the kitchen at home? Yes, yeah, so I would say across the board, that's their territory kind of thing. Well, I will just do what I'm told then. <laughs> yes. Heber's making a traditional Egyptian dish called ful Akhda bil kudra, a stew of broad beans, rice and beef. They feel so nice as well, broad beans. Yeah, I just good, love like, their fluffy cushion. insides yeah, exactly. and soft, velvety outsides. Everything about them it gives a feeling of joy. We've only got a few more left. Come on. More, more podding, less chatting. And there's me thinking it was going to be a relaxing morning. I'm going to get you to do all the dirty work. Ah. Ah. Get the beef on soon, too. OK, OK, so hurry up. <laughs> Under Madam's orders, I chop half a kilo of beef into perfect cubes. Is that to uh, Cleopatra's liking? Yeah, well, I'd say so. Great. <laughs> The approved beef goes into the pan along with diced onion, dill and coriander. Oh my god, it smells fantastic. But there's no time to idle in Heber's kitchen as she sets me to work pounding 12 cloves of garlic. Keep going, keep going. Your bossy side is coming out. <laughs> yes, it will. We add my favourite broad beans along with three tablespoons of basmati rice. Heber dry fries the garlic with some chard. Wow, what a smell. Once it's cooked for a further 10 minutes, it's ready. And after all that hard work, I can't wait. It smells, it smells heavenly. You can smell all the different flavours. You can smell well. all the different things. Mm, ladies there. Give us a spoon. Oh, yeah, sorry. What's that about you? I want beans, I want meat, I want... Don't burn your tongue. <laughs> That is absolutely sensational. Broad beans grow amazingly well in Britain, and a crop sown in early spring will be ready to harvest mid to late summer. They're delicious and incredibly versatile, so why aren't we eating more of them? Broad beans are so popular in Egypt that they're dried and used all year round in dishes such as fulmidames, the national dish. Oh, that smells absolutely delicious. Yeah. The beans are stewed overnight with lentils and chickpeas in an Egyptian slow cooker. This is all day Egyptian breakfast. All day Egyptian breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Heber's mezestyle Egyptian creations will be perfect for our picnic. That is outstanding. Wow, I feel nervous about cooking in front of you now. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> And now I'm in charge, I'm making a dish named frutalia, which is a deliciously different Turkish omelette. If you put some water on and peel two nice big handfuls of broad beans. And it's payback time. How does it feel being bossed around in your own kitchen? If you call this bossed around, <laughs> then I'm not feeling bossed around. See, the thing is, when you're bossing around, you have to be wearing the trousers and you have to, like, you know, be well, firm and... I am. <laughs> when these are cooked, you were then going to shell all of them. Oh, my God. You want bossing around, you get bossing around. Okay. 
the beans are blanched in boiling water and once cooled, are peeled of their skins. I'm just trying to catch up with your rate of de-shelling and podding and everything and just <laughs> struggling a bit. Fry the onions in olive oil with a pinch each of cumin, salt and pepper. Then whisk up six large free-range eggs. Look, bright yellow, mm -hmm. techno green beans. In goes the egg. Add the beans, crumbled feta cheese and roughly torn mint to the frying pan. Mint and eggs are actually very good together. It seems like quite an odd combination, but it actually... No, I'm excited to try it. The frutalia cooks on the hob for a couple of minutes and is finished off under a warm grill, but it's also great served cold, so perfect for a picnic. So this is my contribution. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that it doesn't quite match up to your two winners. Wow. It's nicely coloured. Mm -hmm. Ow, ow, ow. That looks divine. See, nice and runny. Yeah, right I, by like, the I like my egg like that. Okay, thanks. Mmm. Oh my god, that's so good. Delicious, soft, eggy. Yeah, and the feta just like melts away in your mouth. It's so nice. Mmm. Would you say we've done the broad bean justice? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> and um <laughs> <laughs> The great thing about picnic food, by definition, is it's portable. You can eat it outside, you can eat it at work, you can eat it in your car, you can eat it anywhere. And we're eating ours with friends on Hampstead Heath, London's premier picnic hotspot. Have a mean slice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We try to do three very different yeah. things with broad beans, and I think we've um, accomplished our mission. I like the egg with the broad beans. It's really, really good. Val, well, what do you think of the, the fool? I Have you eaten this before? absolutely delicious. I had my hand slapped and was told to stop, stop eating it because he'd be <laughs> arriving later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we made a very good team. Really enjoyed it. Cheers to the broad bean. Mm. And shukran, and thanks for a very nice day. Thank you, shukran.